Hi, Ben here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make arpeggiators in FL Studio using the built-in MIDI tool in the channel settings. Open the instrument you wish to arpeggiate. Then select miscellaneous functions and to turn on the arpeggiator, choose one of the five directions at the top bar here. To turn it off again, just click the X icon. The five different directions are up, down, bounce, sticky, and random. To make it easier to understand what is going on, I manually typed them in piano roll with the exception of random, which randomly alternates between all the other directions. First, we have up. The arpeggiator plays the first note of the chord and works its way up to the top and starts from the bottom again. Then we have down, which does the opposite. Starting from the top and making its way down. Bounce begins from the bottom, but doesn't reset when it reaches the top. Instead, it bounces, it changes its direction and becomes a combination of up and down. Last but not least, we have Sticky, which is like Bounce, except that it plays the upper and lower notes twice. Time selects the delay between the successive notes in the arpeggiator. In other words, it determines the speed of it. If you right-click it, we have a few presets to choose from. Gate makes the notes of our arpeggiator shorter, resulting in a more staccato sound. Slide makes the arpeggiator slide between notes, but this only works with instruments that support this function. Range lets us set the octave range of the arpeggiator. The chords are transposed accordingly to the value we set. Repeat set so many times each octave repeats itself before moving on. Chord when set to auto or auto sustain place whatever you have programmed into your piano roll. You can select all the chords here, but it's really only useful if you're playing one note at a time, as it sounds a bit intense on top of what we already got. But yeah, it sounds okay when you are only playing one note. Before I end this video, I would like to note that you can actually automate most of these parameters we talked about, which can make for some very interesting results. If you have any questions, or if something wasn't clear, you can leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help you out. Like and subscribe for more Effort Studio tutorials, and don't forget to click the bell button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any content.